As many of you know, when Windows 11 first launched, to put it mildly, I was not a big fan. Over time, it's improved quite a bit and is now the most feature-packed operating system Microsoft has ever created. So coming up in this video, I'll show you the Windows 11 features most people don't know exist that are actually worth using. Let's get started. Let's start with an old dinosaur first. Notepad has been around since 1983. After 40 years, it finally received its first major update and overhaul to its interface. In addition to supporting a dark theme, it now has tab support, letting you easily navigate multiple files in a single window. If you want to use a dark theme when using it, go to Settings here on the right. Click the drop down for App Theme. If your system setting is already set to dark, select Use System Setting. Otherwise, select Dark. The snipping tool built into Windows is useful for taking a screenshot using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus Shift plus S. And now lets you record any part of your screen. The keyboard shortcut won't work for this. You'll need to open the Snipping Tool app. Start a recording, select the record icon, then select New. Select a portion of your screen that you'd like to record, and then select Start. If you're someone that's been wanting to see a clock readout in the taskbar showing seconds, you're in luck. To turn this on, right click on an empty space of your taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Scroll down and open Taskbar Behaviors. Go to the last entry in this list and check the box next to Show Seconds in System Tray Clock. They do say this will use more power, so if you're concerned about battery life, you might want to keep this turned off. For those times you need to get some work done without any distractions, try out Focus Mode. To enable this feature from the Settings app in System, go to Focus. You can change the allotted time along with other settings, including turning on Do Not Disturb. When you select Start Focus Session, a timer will appear in the upper right corner. By default, it will be on a 20 minute timer letting you know when you should take a 5 minute break. Microsoft has made a ton of headlines over the last several months integrating OpenAI's ChatGPT into its products. To use their Bing Chat, you can now access it by selecting the Bing icon to the right of the search bar. You could type your question in the box, or if you have a microphone, click the microphone icon to ask your question. Here's an example. What is the meaning of life? Searching for meaning of life. That is a very profound and philosophical question. There is no definitive answer to the meaning of life, as different people and cultures may have different beliefs, values, and purposes. Some may seek meaning in religion, spirituality, science, art, or human relationships. Some may believe that life has no inherent meaning, but that we can create our own meaning through our choices and actions. A task most of us do every day is copying and pasting. The Clipboard History feature lets you see everything you've copied. To enable it, in the Settings app in System, scroll down and select Clipboard. Toggle the switch on for Clipboard History. If you have other Windows 10 or 11 devices using the same account, you might also want to turn on Sync Across Your Devices. This will let you access stuff you've copied on those devices as well. To access your clipboard history, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus V. Simply click on what you want to copy and paste it wherever you need it. Voice typing is a little known feature in Windows that works quite well. It can be used anywhere you type within Windows. Here's an example. To open it, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus H. Hi Jane, period. I just read your memo regarding pay raises for the entire staff, period. That is very exciting news. Exclamation point. I mentioned earlier that Notepad now has tab support. File Explorer also got upgraded and now has the ability to open multiple tabs. Now instead of having multiple Explorer windows open, they can now be contained within a single window. The PhoneLink app for Windows 11, in addition to Android, now supports iOS. 
So now you could read and send messages from your iPhone on your PC and make and take phone calls. It's easy to get set up. First, select your device, then follow the instructions. Live captions is an awesome accessibility feature that will offer real-time captioning of any audio playing on your screen from any program. To open it, you could search for live captions or use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus Control plus L. Here's a short example using one of my most recent videos. In the box, type your prompt. After entering in your prompt, click on Create. When you select one of the images, you'll have the option to share it with others, save it to one of your collections, download it to your computer, or customize it. Here's one that is deeply hidden, many people didn't think still existed. To organize your media collection, Microsoft replaced Windows Media Player with something simply titled Media Player. Many people feel it's bloated, slow, and less functional. To use the Windows Media Player, go to Search and type Windows Media Player. Select Windows Media Player Legacy. And there you go. The nightlight feature built into Windows 11 and also available for Windows 10 uses warmer tones blocking blue light to help you sleep. To enable it in the Settings app, in System, go to Display. In Brightness and Color, to enable nightlight at any time, toggle the switch on. Screen recording software won't capture this, but my displays are now using warmer tones. When you click into nightlight, you can adjust the strength. And below that, to have it automatically turn on, toggle the switch on for schedule nightlight. What I do is to have it active from sunset to sunrise. Or if you prefer, you can set your own hours. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What are your favorite features of Windows 11? Let me know about them in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell for the latest on Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff right here on Brett in Tech.